Chikatana. Take one. And only. Hello, everybody. We have one of my favorite things. Uh, I say that about a lot of things. I love sopes. That's like one of my favorite dips I think I've ever had in my whole life. It's one of my favorite shapes. This is really a favorite. Um, this is a really seasonal delicacy that we are proud to be able to serve at Masienda for just a very narrow window of the year. Chikatanas. Chikatanas are flying ants that in this case primarily come from Oaxaca, though you can find them from other parts of Mexico as well. These have been harvested after the first rains in Oaxaca, toasted on the comal, uh, lightly salted, and are ready to go. I mean, truly, like the concentrated flavor has a lot of sort of cacao notes in it, almost like a washed rind cheese. It's earthy, it's incredibly complex, wonderful, wonderful, delicious delicacy that I'm excited to make a salsa with. I'm gonna just be using some three, four ounces of chicatanas, some charred onion, half of a serrano pepper that's also been charred, and then two cloves of garlic, which I've also charred in their husk. So um, if you've never used a molcajete, a molcajete is basically a basalt mortar and pestle. Um, this has been around for thousands of years. It's one of the one of the greatest pieces of kitchen equipment ever made. Um, this is available at Masienda.com, handmade in Puebla, Mexico. But you can use any molcajete if you don't have this one. The farming partners that we work with in Oaxaca, the Vasquez family, have generously shared this recipe. It is an incredibly simple way to prepare it. I'm gonna first kind of build my base, sort of a paste. So for the onion, I'm just gonna do kind of a rough chop. And then I'm just gonna remove the skins, the husk of the garlic. And I'm actually gonna give those a rough chop too so that you don't get super, super chunky in there. All right, so I'm just doing a preliminary grind here with a little bit of salt to just kind of open up these flavors. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, please. Okay, so I've got my base paste built here. Um, I'm gonna dump my chiquetanas directly into my mocajete. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water every once in a while to kind of coax along the process and get to kind of a nice pureed uh, texture. It's gonna take a minute. Just stick around for a while. That sound is amazing. Like raindrops. Or squishing ants. Doesn't sound like squishing ants. Don't think about that. All right. We're just about done, at least to me. This is my memory of how it was. It's just meant to be a little more rustic when it's finished in a mulcate. But if you want to continue pureeing it, you can. Oh um, my god, the smell is just unbelievable. It's almost like brown butter, cacao. Brown butter, cacao, what else do you want? Taste a little bit of this. Oh my God. That's so good. I love the texture to it. I think you would lose a lot if you were to do this in a, in a blender. It's like got tons of umami. I'm gonna put a little bit on a tostada, but you can put this literally as a dip with chips, sotopos, tostadas, kind of however you want to serve it up. It is so good. It has like a cheesy, truffly, actually like getting a lot of truffle on this now. Give me a beer. Oh, my toast out, I'm gonna get a beer. We gotta try this. Oh, wow. That's crazy. You wanna try it like that? It's like truffle yeah. butter. I know the idea of ants might sound a little bit intimidating. Trust me, it is worth a try. So good.